Chemist Warehouse, Sunday footy on the Gold Coast. Will the Sharks bite back or will the Titans register back-to-back -back wins? Don't go anywhere. This will be a beauty. Right here on your home of the NRL, Nines Wide World of Sports. Yes, it's wet. But the playing surface looking sensational. And we should see some terrific rugby league. I can't wait to see the clash of the two big men, Mo Fodawaka and Toby Rudolph. And there is Toby Rudolph with his first hit up of the afternoon. Sharks with first use of the football. Wade Graham, his first start since round 14 last year. And a, oh, I about to say sloppy play the ball, but they're going to get a penalty here. They might have got away with one here. Unless there was a hand in the ball. Ashley Klein, the referee today. He's a good little referee as well. Yeah, I think it was Eastside Masters just got caught up in the ruck. That's what the Titans were penalised for. Talakai. What a start this is for the Sharks. Great field position. Royce Hunt. 35 metres away. Pretty much a full set of six in front of them. Braley goes to McKinnis. Short to Rudolph. Always battling in the tackle is Toby Rudolph. He's a fan favourite of the Sharks. 20 metres away from the line. Moylan players in motion. Hines. Here they go. Connor Tracy goes on his own. He's going to be wrapped up. Philip Sami, one of the defenders for the Titans there. Now it's with McInnes. Five metres away. Last play for the Sharks. And they get a repeat set or even more. Graham puts in a kick. It's ricocheted. It's played at. It's going to be picked up here and away they go. Through Isan Masters is going to be tackled. He did well there, Masters. Yeah, it was really smart play by Masters just to stick the leg out in front of the kick from Graham. He's been well known over his career, Wade Graham, to just put those little dink kicks in off the left foot from the back row position on the last tackle. Tino Fasumala Awi playing the ball 10 metres into Sharks territory. The rejuvenated Jared Wallace. Playing the ball, 30 metres away. Tino again. Here's Sexton, the Brimson. And now struggling, trying to get through is Philip Sami. He's brought down 12 metres away from the line. Toby Sexton puts in a kick. It's not a bad one. It'll land on the goal line. And that is a sensational take. A great take there by Ronaldo yeah, Mulatalo. Yeah, Sideline in the elements this afternoon. It's good afternoon to Darren Lockyer. Lockie? Yeah, afternoon, Salty. That's a great take in these conditions. As you can see, there is some rain around, and I don't think that'll go away anytime soon. It's not that heavy. There's, there, is, there is a breeze behind the Titans, but the pitch, uh, considering all the rain, there's that breeze there. Considering all the rain we've had, the pitch is in great condition. Toby Rudolph, busy early. McInnes passing before the line. Hines, he passes as well. And here's Miller on debut. Lockie Miller, former Australian Rugby Sevens player. Seven. Yeah. High kick, testy for Campbell, takes it well. And then Britt Cora, great tackle. Lockie Miller, 27 years and 281 days of age. So good luck to him. He's an Olympian, Lockie Miller as well. And the first Miller to play for the Sharks is Gavin Miller. There you go. One of the greats of the 80s, Gavin Miller. Yeah. He's a real good player. What sort of uh, Olympian was it? Rugby sevens. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here he is on the bounce with that one. What were you expecting, a question or? No, I thought he might have been a diver. Or a... <laughs> <laughs> Rugby sevens, eh? Wow. Here's a penalty, penalty to the Sharks. Cam, I can already see with uh, the Sharks. 
Probably a mistake last week to take Nico Hines yes. from fullback. It might have been a necessity, but he's back in the seven, and it's like an old glove, your favourite glove. Straight back, his passing is good. The players are running at pace off him. It, everything just looks good once he's back in the seven. Yeah, they look a lot more organised, don't they? And everyone knows exactly where they need to be, their roles. You mentioned they're running. Everything's much more smooth today compared to last week. Hines with a short ball there to Toby Rudolph. And he's tackled by Isaac Liu and Jared Wallace in there. On the front foot again here, the Sharks. Moylan goes short in the core. Oh, he was looking for someone on the inside. Miller just couldn't get there on time. Now Braley drifting across field. Licks up with Nico Hines, a juggle. And Tino gets him and brings him down. Two former teammates at the Storm. Now McInnes. Just showing the ball to Rudolph and the Titans defence backed off. A couple of metres away from the line. Moylan, Hines, dummies. The Titans defence came up. Here's Miller. And he'll be trapped with it on the last. It'll be a turnover. Well, they caught Jaden Campbell. He was on the other side of the play the ball. They went left the Sharks. They just needed to find someone to roll the ball on the in goal. Apply some pressure to the Titans. The Titans did a wonderful job just to back off away from their attack by, by some time. Eventually the Sharks just ran into them. Isan Masters. Tackle by his opposite number there in Talakai. No fodder wake up. Playing the ball for the Gold Coast. Brimson is evasive. Good on his feet, AJ Brimson. Clark. Toby Sexton drills this one towards the corner. He's outside the 40. It'll find touch 13 metres away from the Sharks line. And I like that tactic by Toby Sexton. Only tackle four. Opts for the early kick. He's probably looking to just keep that in field another couple of metres, but in these conditions, early kicks are a must. Down to you, Lockie. Yeah, totally agree, Cam. You know, with, with these conditions, get get the ball down in the corners and look to get a, an error with some line speed off your defensive line. But I, I like that play from Toby Sexton. Sharks now working out from their own ends. The last two times the Sharks have been in this position, the Titans have given away a penalty. They won't want to keep doing that throughout the afternoon. Good runner of the football, Britton Nakora. Although there's an error from the Cora. A rare one it's from him. Carry, in my opinion. And that's what Darren Lockie it's was talking carry. about. Yeah. Early yeah. kicks, Pretty building much. pressure. Yeah. And it was I a great run. It. That's the way to run into the ball as a, as a second rower. Hard and straight, but unfortunately right at the death. He just lost it. Look, Angle uh, trying to run over the six in Brimson. Yeah, loose carry. Well, earlier this afternoon, a big victory for the Raiders against the Rabbitohs in Dubbo. 32 to 12. Ricky's Raiders now with a couple of wins in a row. Big win for Canberra there. Riley and Campbell. Solid tackle. Here's Philip Sami. Going to give the home side a lift if they can score here. They have been under a bit of pressure. Tino for Suomala Awi, wrapped up, there's three of them. We put him to ground, McInnes is one of them. Rudolph as well. Clark, drifting across field. Sexton, here's Campbell, Masters, and then there was no room for that quick pass there to Thompson. It was a great joining by uh, Jaden Campbell. He read it well and he just hit it at pace. And I thought the timing of his pass was perfect. You know, they didn't score that because... Is that Corey Thompson out there? I think it might be... A no, no, it's Jermaine Asako. Asako. Mate, he just... He didn't give himself a chance to... He didn't come onto the ball. He was actually in front of the person trying to pass him the ball. Come on. Just a metre back, champ. Well, Jermaine Asako on that side of the field. No room there for him. I'll tell you the good thing for the Titans there, though, Fatty. Jaden Campbell, his speed on the edges. He's worried the Sharks are ready this game. It makes a difference in and away, yeah. Makings of a good game early on. 
Nico Hines. Here's Royce Hunt and an offload. Back to Nico. Now Miller, dummy there to Nakora. He's good on his feet. Lachlan Miller into Titans territory. Toby Rudolph. Nice little step just before he got the Vasil Muller. Are we there and help himself to an extra three or four metres? Here's the last. Moylan puts it up. Campbell underneath it. They make the tackle on him. Militalo breathing down his neck. Jermaine Azarko scored the try and golden point last week to end the Titans' victory over the Dragons. Here's Corey Thompson. Heard the contact there and the effects, Mike. Connor Tracy on both for more. Philip Sami tackled, still inside their own 40 here on the last. Sexton. And now Miller underneath that kick takes it well. Up over the 30. Always scheming, looking for opportunities as Lockie Miller. Yeah, he looks very agile. Something that. An aspect of rugby sevens as the crowd are up for a forward pass. He's very lively. Sharks just inside Titans territory now. McInnes to Rudolph. Oh, bang! What a tackle on Toby Rudolph, and it was touched. So, play on here for the Sharks. That was a terrific hit. Resets the tackle count. Have a look at this. Good shot there from Aaron Clark. Here's McInnes. Now, Nico Hines, they go down the short side. Talakai. He's wrapped up 20 metres away from the line. Halfway through the set here for the Sharks. Nico Hines. Toby Rudolph. Quick play the ball too there from Toby. Now Moylan into the line. Goes short here to Hunt. And can he get there? No, he's just short. He'll get up and play it on the last. Nico Hines through the hands. Moylan kicks, regathers, goes to Miller. It's play on. Stepping, stepping. Here he goes. Tino's got him. McInnes with a kick, both of has got it, gets back in the field of play, then pushed the back, up. repeat set, that Wars was entertaining. Wow, that was so exciting oh. by the, oh, by the Sharks. Great play. Okay, no penalty. Wonderful, and you're right about Miller, what, what about when he gets the ball? Absolutely fantastic, sprinting around all over the joint. Very exciting on his feet. Very elusive. They're looking good, Cronulla, but you've got to give the uh, some kudos to the Titans defence. They turned up there. Stay behind, guys. You just keep looking for us on that ten. Yeah, they're, looking, the they're looking very dangerous when Moylan and Nico Hines combine together in the shift play. Just watch for a little bit of space on the inside. I think Matt Moylan has looked for it, that ball carry on the inside hip. He's looked at him a couple of times, had yet to give him the ball. Okay, Tino, move. He might find a little bit of space there this set. Toby Rudolph playing it. McInnes goes to Hunt. And Royce Hunt have had four of the last five sets to Sharks. Starting to build some pressure. Now Moylan tries to put on a step. Good tackle down low. The initial contact there by Toby Sexton. McInnes. Yeah, McInnes. Always playing above his weight. Aaron Clark, a good tackle down low. Now it's with Nico Hines. Miller cut out pass. Can they get there through Katoa? He's wrapped up. On a Tracy to dummy half. Nico Hines kicks across field. It's from Mulatalo, but oh, what a take! Jermaine Ozarko with a beauty! Oh, what a take that was by Ozarko. He looked outnumbered, it was almost two to three to one. But he was the one that come away with the ball and ran downfield 30 metres. Have a look at this. Oh, one-handed if you don't mind. Oh, 
two great athletes on that far side of the field. Ronaldo Pulitalo and Jermaine Azarco. Suamala Awi, nice little flick pass to Sexton. Now here's Campbell, Jaden Campbell. Last Thought for a moment he down. was going to get through, but Brayley just grabbed on at the last moment. Sexton puts up a kick, Katoa underneath it, knocks it on. Mika, you've gone across, mate. You're bumped in, but so you've given him a chance to get penalty. in there. Clear the contact there on uh, Sexton, but it... There you go, just heard the explanation from Ashley Klein. Well, they've only had 32% percent of the possession, the Titans. And to be honest, they're looking a bit buggered because of all the tackling they've done. Let's try and suck them in now. Gather yourselves and launch an assault. Mo Fodawaka playing the ball 11 metres away from the line. Wallace, Fasua Malaawi. Tino's tackled, two metres short. Well, after doing a heap of defence, this place will erupt if they score. Liu will go close. They're going to stop him. It's a set restart. They're inside the 10, the Sharks. A metre away from the line. Wallace, Sexton, for more. Good hit on both for more. Now Clark, here's AJ Brimson, gets a pass away to Wallace, Jared Wallace, and the Titans do score first. He is a close to the line, try scoring specialist, Jared Wallace, he loves that run, it's a hard run, but he just steams onto it, he scored last week, similar try at Suncourt, the Isuzu D-Max replay, here it is, just drips across the field. And he's just down front under this. Look at this go. Hey, hey, in he goes. Jared Wallace, well done. Well, I think what AJ Brimson was first looking at, when he looked up, he seen Toby Rudolph in front of him defending a three man on an edge. And he thought, well, I'll have a go at this. He chose to go back off the left foot. And it's funny how many big men find some space back around the post. Down to you, Lockie. Oh, they love it, especially Jared Wallace. When you're a playmaker and you're drifting across field like that, that's what you're waiting for. You're waiting for one of your, your ball runners to hit a hole, and that's exactly what Jared Wallace did. And that's a good hit back because the Titans were under all sorts of pressure down the other end. They got those points because of their defence. Yeah, Jared Wallace. The first try of the game. You often hear it. You spoke about it, Cam. The confidence you can get out of those defensive efforts back to back to back they had to face the Sharks on their own line they did very well well it ha actually helps you grow in energy and if you look over at the other side where the Sharks they they spent so much time down that attacking end and come away with no points so then to be scored on themselves they they can really be quite despondent so really important now for the Sharkies to hit back early Jermaine Asako pretty much right in front about to make it six points to nil. Straight between the posts. First blood in Sunday Stand afternoon behind. footy to the Titans through Jared Wallace. He's a confidence player, isn't he, Paul? When he has a moment like that early in the game, he generally goes on to have a, a pretty good one. Yeah, he's uh, he's been good at, for the last two or three weeks. Really good for the Titans. They lacked a player like him, just a good, straight, hard-running forward over the, the first five or six weeks of the comp. But he fought his way back into the team, and he's going good. Now Clark sets off, here's Brimson, and all of a sudden there's a burst of energy about what the Titans are doing. Fodawaka, 
His second hit up of this set of six. Here's the last. Sexton had a bit of time. Kicks it down on the 10. Oh, knocked back there by Ronaldo Militalo. Tries to split the Titans' chases, but they make the tackle. Talakai. Four of them in there on CSC for Talakai. Molotalo down holding the shoulder, I think. Left shoulder. Have to keep an eye on that one. I don't want to lose him. Let's have a look. See the grimace there in the tackle. Here goes Miller again. Looking lively with every touch. Here's the last. Nico Hines puts it high. Moylan trying to come down to put some pressure on Campbell. He flies high, takes it well. And as soon as he hit the ground, Matt Moylan there to make the tackle. Yeah, it's not a bad tactic. Not many times do you see the two halves combining like that. Matt Moylan, well, he's a former fullback, so he's used to that, that role, chasing a high kick. But just taking away all time from Jaden Campbell. For more. Tackled by Rudolph. He's one of the Sharks defenders in there, along with Hunt and McInnes. Wallace going to pursue a Miller. Oh, he, Tino with a fend and tries to break the line, but Talakai got him. Oh, set restart, and that was on the last tackle. You heard Ashley Klein signal the last. Oh, here's a strip. Toby Rudolph has got it. Great play. Royce Hunt. Big opportunity again here for the Sharks. Trailing 6-0. Looking for their first points of the game. Moylan. Will be wrapped up. Braley goes to McInnes. He's tackled 15 away. Fodawaka got him down low. Now Moylan to Hines. Plays in motion. He goes short here to Graham, but it was forward. It was a late call on the forward pass. Must have come from the touchy. But that's the second or third time today that Hines has gone from the right side round to the left to make an extra man. And Well, it's debatable that they got him for it. Well, let's go downstairs because Darren Lockie has got the great Preston Campbell with him. Take it away, Lockie. Yeah, he's watching this game with uh, a keen eye. Mate. How's the young fella going? Yeah, he's doing all right, Lockie. Uh, second week back uh, from, a, from a rib injury. Uh, those, those sorts of rib injuries, as you know, you got to take your time coming back. Don't rush back. But he's, he's back now and he's enjoying it. How often do you give him advice? Uh, never. Never, mate. It's, uh, he, he's got a real good group of people around him with the coaching staff and the players. You know, I don't have to have too, too much to do with him, honestly. And look, we've got a jersey here next week. He's Indigenous round, and this is the Titans jersey they're going to play against the Broncos. Can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, so this is um, designed by a local local Gold Coast man, Kieran Chilcott. He's done a great job, and it's really about legacy. I mean, um, we've had five five Indigenous captains that have ca uh, captained over time the Titans have been around. Um, and many, many different players that come from different countries, you know, so... That's what that's what this represents. Well, thanks for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thanks, Lockie. Uh, Back to you, Salty. Thanks, Lockie. Thanks, Preston. Ditching us round next week here in the NRL, and here's a mistake here from Jared Wallace. Good shot there from Royce Hunt. And what a great player Preston Campbell was for both Cronulla and the the Gold Coast. Uh, Let's go. Magnificent. Jayden. Won the Dally in 2001. Not early backs. Fantastic in, player, and he must be so proud watching in, his youngster Mike. go around out here Mate today. Go. That's what we've got to look forward to on Thursday night for Indigenous Rounds. Can't wait for it. Looking forward to what's going to unfold here over the course of the next hour and a half or so. Here come the Sharks. Ten metres away from the line. McInnes. Cam McInnes gets an offload away. Royce Hunt now, he looks to wind up. Will be tackled a metre away from the line. 
Riley to the core up, back to Riley. Oh, no, Tracy, that's beautiful. Great try, the Sharks, they do hit back. That's a great set play by the Sharkies. Just watch his right hand defence. The right side attack of the Sharks. They send the Corey in there nice and hard. Look at them just sitting back. They wrap around on the Isuzu D Max replay, and there it is. Well, there's a two man overlap in the end outside of Corey Thompson. Just great skill to be able to absorb that defensive pressure to turn and pop it back up to Brayley. That's a wonderful try by the Sharkies. They're very nice, once again, off the back of a Gold Coast mistake when they dropped it a few tackles ago, and the Sharks have made them pay. It's nice play, wasn't it, uh, by the back rower in uh, Nakora. Just, I think he was going for the line, and then all of a sudden he couldn't get there, so he just turned and there was a support. Down to you, Lockie. I think the other thing that helped, he went to the outside shoulder. Normally when you do a runaround play, you sort of you hit the hole on the inside shoulder, but that time there, and he, that took AJ Brimson out of the play and created the overlap. So that's a good hit back by the Sharks. Good play. Connor Tracy is such a versatile player as well. Nico Hines from out wide. It's a tough one. From near touch, he struck it really well. It's coming around beautifully. What a kick. Tracy, the try scorer, playing in the centres today behind, in place of Jesse Raymond. He'll be back in a, a few weeks' time around Stay round behind. 13. He's due back. Came pretty much every, everywhere in the, the Sharks' back line, hasn't he, Connor Tracy? He's such a, a versatile and important member of their team. There he is. He's got a lot of attributes that allows him to do that. He's got good speed, got good vision. He can kick the football, got a nice pass. He dropped. Right here, Toby. Six points all. McInnes. Pretty much that run like every one of his runs, full of energy. Kick from inside the 40. Straight down the centre of the ground. One bounce. Jaden Campbell. He's tackled on his 30. Aiden Tolman out in the field now in Jersey 14 for the Sharks. Nico Hines is looking for that hook back off his right foot hey, down into that left corner, Kevin, but he just, Kevin, Kevin. just mistimed it. Hit the drop onto the outside of the foot of found Campbell relatively easy. Philip Sami. Tackle there by Nakora and Rudolph. Now Fodawaker up towards the halfway line. McInnes is there. Four in there as well, back to back defensive efforts for him. Now Brimson goes to Vermore. Both Vermore trying to shrug off defenders. He's the last. Sami. Now Sexton puts it high. It's a floating kick. A tester here for Miller. He takes it well. He looks to attack straight away, putting steps on again. He's created an overlap here. Tries to get through. It's a good tackle in the end by Masters that got him down. Now Talakai, the one-handed pickup. And that is a great shot on him. What a tackle. Toby Sexton. Halfback putting his body on the line. He's the powerful center. Now Moylan linking up with Nico Hines. On a Tracy, almost getting through is an important tackle down low by Bo Fermor. Tolman. Brought about a pass, takes the line on. 
Now Hines on the last. Puts it up. Katoa looking to get a hand on that one. But he only could manage to bat it towards. Out of that corner, but it's a knock on on the last. Campbell. Just bring it out 10 by 10. Play the ball there. There we go, bring it out the 10 because it was knocked forward there by the Sione Katoa. Let's go. Rory Thompson. Katoa was on him very quickly. Stand That's the contest. It will be the knock on there by Katoa. Saw Mala Awi. Called hell, but then. Still going forward there, Tino. Now AJ Brimson. Yeah, he was there, shut very quickly on him. Sexton puts it high. It's another test for Miller. Takes it well. Good chase here too from the Titans. And that's a good shot down low by AJ Brimson on Lachlan Miller. On their own 30 here, the Sharks. One try apiece throughout the opening half an hour, but it's been free flowing end to end stuff. That's a beautiful pass to Wade Graham from Nico Hines. I think he was missing it with Militalo out there. Here's McInnes. He does. Wait, wait, 20 metres away, last tackle here for the Sharks. Moylan to Hines, the Cora. Great tackle down low from Brimson. Thought he was going to stroll through and go under the post there, the Cora, but Brimson, Fatty, did very well defensively. Yeah, he did. Once again, good defence. Okay. But oh, Hines, on that occasion, came from the left side of the field to the right. So he's got a bag of tricks and creating that extra man. And there's a good ball to the Cora, he just nearly got through. Around for support, but no one was there. Sam McIntyre playing the ball now for the Titans. So McIntyre and Lasone are on the field for the Gold Coast. Shy of their own 30. Nissan Masters playing it. Oh. <laughs> Big man with a trap. <laughs> and he's got all the oh. skills, mate, Fodawaka. Here's the last. Kick down fields. Over the head there of Miller. Into the goal area. Is it going to sit up? It will. And for Moore and Campbell. Make the tackle on him. Good kick in the end. Make a tie there as well. Outside the road, 20, now the Sharks. They go high, it's early kick from inside the 40. Has he got the angle on it? He does, but the ball just doesn't roll on it. It plugged like a, a Paul Vorton approach shot. Oh, oh, set up beautifully. Oh, 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 that'll do, mate. <laughs> they don't plug when they hit the green. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that just nicely just settled. Landed like a, a butterfly with sore feet. Now we're just starting to see the, well, the Sharks. They're just starting to get on top here. This ball has been in play now for quite some time. No errors from either side. No penalties. With only seven and a half minutes to go. Come down to who breaks first. side will take the advantage into half time. Good field position here for the Sharks. Starting to set 10 metres short of the halfway line. An injury for Fita coming on for the Sharks. As Talakai takes a run. For Fita ready to take the next hit up. And here is his first touch.
Yeah, it seems that he's um, now just a permanent bench player, but he's, when he's come on, he's always made a difference, Andrew Papita. I'll tell you what, to, to me, the most impressive Cronulla player today, until then, was, was Lachlan Miller. My word, he's been good. He's been very good. He's been good. outstanding. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, he got rolled into touch, in but middle. he's been terrific. He's looked lively, hasn't he, with every touch? At least threatened. Every time he's had the ball, he's been threatened. He's a victim of the conditions more than anything there. As the rain starts to get a little heavier here at Seabus Super Stadium. In line with the touch, Judge. Back here, take. So I'll play the ball here for wait, the wait, Titans. Wait, 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 wait there. Get your marker there. Uh, dummy off there. Let's go! Six points all. He's He's going to be wrapped up by Tolman, one of the defenders in there for the Sharks. Now Brimson goes to Philip Sami. And Sami's knocked it on. That's a knock on by Gold Coast for his carry. Okay, where do you want it? Shot clock on. That's what I was talking about. It's the first team that breaks. And this is an error in their own half. Philip Sami. Down to you, Lockie. Yeah, a little bit of fatigue starting to set in there with the Titans. They've got a big challenge here. The Sharks, they like to set up on the left around the scrum line there and then open it up and get their halves to, to pair up and, and try and create that overlap. They'll, they'll try and do that again in this set. Moylan feeds the scrum. Braley goes to Moylan, links up now with Hines. Nico Hines is wrapped up. Jaden Campbell making the tackle on him. Teague Wilton has been very good for the Sharks this season. Graham, the Tolman, is for feeder. 19 away, can the Sharks take the lead? Braley sets off on his own. It's a set restart. They might not need the whole set. The core to Moylan. Now for Feeder. They wrap him up a couple of metres away from the line. Nico Hines. Miller, quick hands, Talakai. And it's touched it. No, they're setting off field Jermaine Azarko, but the whistle is blown. It was knocked down by a scrum. Yeah, I think it was Azarko. And he had, his, he had to chuck his hand out in the middle of the Talakai pass. In the end, he probably saves a try here. Yeah, if he doesn't do that, I think Mulatalo, he scores in the corner. See what the Sharkies have from this scrum feed. Find him, Blake. Blake, nice and tight. Herman, stay in, mate. Feet stay down. The Sharks are circling late in the half. AJ, AJ. Yeah, they just hung off him. Okay, again, AJ got He'll play the ball two metres away from the line. The feeder goes from dummy half. The world's biggest number nine will be stopped a metre away from the line. Make it half a metre. Braley, now Moylan, here they come. Hines, good defence to Gold Coast on Miller. Masters is there. Teague Wilton there on that occasion. Two metres away. Wilton will play it. Now Wade Graham. He throws a dummy. He tackled down low. Now for Feeder. Can he get the arm free? He can't. They wrap him up. Two tackles left in the set. For Feeder will play it. Braley puts in a kick. And it's forced by the Gold Coast. Drop out coming, they're just hanging on, but yeah, they are hanging they are. on. Okay, Great defence, two minutes, 20 to go. They just can't come up with anything to break that line, the Sharks. Got a short kick then, but the defence has been terrific. Getting it off their line really quick, cutting down time with the ball for the Sharks. Very good. Wade, hey, Graham. Wade Graham's now moved to the ruck. So I expect to see him play a, an extra half roll. 
linking with Moylan and Nico Hines. Smart, smart player by Graham. Fafida looking to wind up inside the last two minutes of the half. Now Wade Graham. He's wrapped up. Fafida goes to Hines. Here's Miller. What about a pass? Braley to Tolman. Nine metres away. Braley goes to Nico Hines. Moylan tries to spin away from a tackle of Masters. Now he still gets an offload away to Hines. McIntyre's there. They wrap him up. I don't think Nico wanted that one. <laughs> Here's the last. Moylan putting in a kick. The Cora underneath it. Everyone flies high. Everyone missed it. Connor Tracy's got it. They're going to stop him. It's the last tackle. Take a bow. The Titans defence. That last tackle. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Is that for more? Both for more. Both for more. For more. Here. That's a try saver. Just jumped on his Move back down. and creamed him. Hold! Hold! Go! Aiden Moon! 30 seconds Aiden left Aiden in the Aiden. half. Wiley! Win it! Fights! Fence! Oh, it's been a huge effort, Soldy. Huge effort by the Titans in the. Again, Blake, particularly Aiden, the back Aiden, half Aiden, of this Aiden, first Aiden, 40. Aiden, Aiden. Penalty here. The ball came free, but it was a strip. Blake. There's your mark. Play on, give down, give down. Well, they've taken the tap here, Aaron Clark. And he'll be held. That went 10 metres. Whoa, Andrew, Aaron, come on, guys. And that Don't will be half time. time. Andrew, Andrew. The siren sounds. Let's go, boys. There's plenty of talk happening, but the players will go and have a rest. Six points all at half-time, an entertaining half of football here at Seabus Super Stadium. The Titans six, the Sharks six. The Titans making their way back out onto their home turf. End-to-end -end action in the opening 40 minutes. Not a lot of tries to talk about, one apiece, but look, some entertainment. Expecting it to open up here in the second 40 camp? Yeah, I'd like to think so, Salty. Interesting to see how much that work that the Titans did late in this first half. How much toll it will take on them in the back half of this game. Wow, what, what, about a, what a start. <laughs> Sam Lasone off the back fence. Going off some stats, Salty, in the first half. The Sharks, they, they ran for over a thousand metres. The first half alone. The Titans ended up with 669 metres. So, usually when you're covering that much ground, you've got a few points to back it up, but you just. You've got to give kudos to the Titans with their defence. They shut down a lot of what the Sharks threw at them in the first half. I'm not lying, guys. I don't know things from the Gulf Coast point of view, that penalty. Late in the tackle count as well. Herman SASA, game number 100 for Herman this afternoon. So well done to him. He's in the rain, Herman SASA. Good opportunity this one now for the Gold Coast. 22 metres away from the line. Clark. Drifting across field, links up now with Sexton. Now Brimson. The defence there in the end on Philip Sami. Ten metres away from the line here, the Gold Coast. Sexton in the centre of the ground. Jaden Campbell now. No gaps there for the Titans fullback. Here's the last. Sexton puts it high. Good take. Under pressure, Sione Katoa does very well. The Sharks now got to work it off their own goal line. 
something they've done pretty well right throughout the afternoon. That rain is getting very, very heavy. Here's Talakai. What a great run. Yeah, they needed it. Up over the, the 20 they go, now the 30. And they're looking good here towards the 40 now, the Sharks. Miller again looking lively there before Nissan Masters got to him. Now Moylan Talakai, great pickup. Mullis Harlow is away. There goes Ronaldo, inside pass, Nico Hines. Beautiful football. Yeah. The Sharks hit the front. Yeah, great footy, Soldy. Great footy. They choose to come down this left-hand short side. We just take a look on this replay, the Isuzu D-Max replay. Talakai out the back, lovely hands for a big man. And he just goes down the sideline. And great work from Nico Hines backing up. He worked hard there. Yeah, that was uh, that's champagne rugby league that it was so good to watch and considering the big fella had taken up a hit up two tackles previously you know, to get back into his position and then Mulatalo down he's got Louis chasing him he knew he had him for pace he just a matter of then of drawing and passing and it was perfect the perfect pass and Nico Hines beautiful trying to convert now in driving rain Points may well be at a premium. The important opening try of the half for the Sharks. And Nico Hines turns four into six. Try then converting in the driving rain. Important early try in the second half for Cronulla. It is steaming there. They're on their own 30 here, the Sharks. We've seen Cronulla as well this year. It was a game against the, the Dragons early on in the year that they played terrific wet weather footy. Afraid to still chance their arm in the, these conditions. Oh, that's right, they, they tend to throw the ball around still, as we see here. Tolman, two wide passes by Ruck players on the Nakore. He's the last. Oh, a mistake there on the last. No, I don't believe in that. I believe you've lost it on the ground. They're talking about a challenge, are they? No. Okay, scrum in the middle. With Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay, the Isuzu D-Max is born to rock. Nice and close, Nico. Wait for the call. Break! So the Titans right. in the scrum. Move now! Andrew, we need to hit back here, the Gold Coast. Short of the halfway line. Herman SASA. Good run from him. Sam Lasone now. That's another good charge. Bit of footwork too before the line there from Lasone. McIntyre. Here's Campbell. Nice pass to Liu, the Masters. They're keeping it alive here, the Titans. Last play for them. Clark. 
Now Sexton puts it in clear. It was that play that it's still the last. Campbell picks it up. Tries to evade them. He does. Keeps it alive. Little kick over the top. Sexton was tackled as he kicked it, and the Sharks have it. Patoa. Kick. Miller did really well attacking that ball. Talakai playing it. Now Nico Hines just puts it downfield. A tackle three kick behind Jaden Campbell. Up over the 20. Jaden's crunched. Now that's a good tactic in the in the rain. That's a ripper because you get him deep in the rain territory and when you're looking for a mistake, a drop ball, a bad pass, something like that. Both mentioned it earlier that you're just looking so much better now with Nico Hines and the halves coming up with plays like that. Well, every player around him looks more comfortable, Soldy. He's the man out there calling the shots, he's directing the play. He helps Matt Moylan out, being there in the seven jersey also. Last play. Oh my goodness, try getting under that, it bounces, oh the bat on, it's the crossbar, this will be a try, Sam McIntyre, a miraculous try, what are the odds of that? Well they're going to check it out, but it, it looked all tackle. good from here, we're a we long way no away, well, he's got no try. Confirm there is a knock on oh. by the Titans, oh, the, Titans the Titans might have got a hand on it somewhere. another hand nearby as well. Yeah. well it looks like the rule on side. It's going to be the first contest of the footy. Whoever's hand... Gold Coast right side kick chase has been cleared as onside. Whoever's hand it does come off, it then ricochets back off the crossbar. It's Isan Masters. Did he, have his, did he get his right hand to the ball? The ball touches Isan Master's hands and travels forward into the goalpost. I tell you, I'm, I'm not 100% on that. <laughs> not 100%. Yep. If there's another angle, they should be looking at it. Mm. Maybe the bunker. And then it's picked up by the Gold Coast. We have a decision. Maybe, maybe Miller's, maybe. Miller's hands were right there. They were right in the midst of it. Anyway, it's a 50-50. Yep. I've got no drama with it. Hey, while well, I've got go you. On, go on. Hey, don't go pushing them after the tackle, Sam. Oh, don't no, go pushing right. them after what the tackle. What about the kick from Jaden Campbell? Okay, come on. Well, go. they're hard to catch at the best of times. Let alone when the fullback looks to the sky, sees the ball floating around and he's got rain dropping in the eyeballs. Lockie, down to you. It was one of those in-step in uh, torpedo punts. Anthony Milford does it a bit, but that one there, he hit pretty sweet. He was doing them in the warm-up. He's got a booter in, Jane Campbell. Won't be the last time we see that this afternoon. Wade Graham. Playing it for the Sharks. Oh, he goes Brayley straight through. He splits them. Looking for support. They all overran him and Campbell makes the tackle. Last play for the Sharks. This game is opening up. Nico Hines puts a kick in. It's a beauty. Campbell's there and they're going to trap him in goal. Repeat set coming for the Sharks. Oh, that's good footy all over. Firstly here by Blake Brayley just... Well, he had the markers all over the shop and he just took off. He, well, everyone overran him. He just hit the brakes. Smart play in the end. He just took the tackle. But the man that was involved in the tackle was Jaden Campbell at fullback. Nico Hines, he recognised that. Got the ball, one off the ruck and just dinked one over the top. It's a nice repeat set. There's the drop out. Miller takes it. Now the Sharks. Away from him for feet up. Now standing in the tackle. Okay, and put him on his back eventually. Tino. Tolman goes to Graham. Sharks will be hard to run down if they go back to back to open up the half. 
Good stint by Fafita. Rudolph's back on. Aiden's Holman now. Nine away from the line. Moylan. Nico Hines, they're lining up. What a ball! Oh, what a pass from Nico Hines. The catch and the finish from Mulatalo. Terrific to watch. Nico Hines is a star. What a player. He's made so much difference from last week, being back in the number seven. This pass is as good as I've seen in a long time on the Isuzu D-Max replay. Goal. Well, as Fatty just mentioned, it was wonderful play by the Sharkies and Nico Hines. Just a lovely ball out to his left-hand side. Just look when he gets the ball here, just out in front, nice catch, and he just knows his man, Mulatalo, is going to be in some space. Jermaine Azarko, he drifted infield a little bit. Just look at that. He almost throws without even looking the trust between the two players. Lockie. That's right, Cam. He knew he was going to be there. He just put it in the spot. As we see, uh, the referee looks like he's just holding up oh, time there. No, the other thing is that the two halves, they come together so much with this Canola team. We see Nico Hines from the sideline. Good strike at it. That's another great kick. Keep talking through what we're seeing, yeah? Feels really good, yeah? Ronaldo Mulatalo with the try. It was Stay a great on. finish. Out wide of that magnificent pass from Nico Hines. Ooh, he lost him for the game in the first half, and he's touching his shoulder can. But it's great that he's been able to stay on there, and what a finish. Important part of the, the game right now for the Titans. They really need to be the next team to score to be any chance to be in this game. Kick from inside the 40 from Brayley. It's got a good run on it. Campbell's got it covered though. A little tricky bounce there in the end. Campbell wrapped up. For the Titans, trailing now by two converted tries. They're on their own 30. Masters. Tackle nine, short of the halfway line. Need a spark here. Herman SASA on the halfway line. Here's another high one. And they're going to let it bounce here. No one wanted to take it. Miller's got it. Here we go. Lockie Miller on debut. He is going to score a try. It is Miller time. Oh, there'll, there'll be a carton on the way. So. Oh. He's been waiting to say that one, hasn't he, Fat? Ah, oh, that's fantastic. Look look at the joy, the delight, and all the, you call it love. It's love for him. It's in his first game of the Isuzu D-Max replay. Look, <laughs> it's a half-pipe fluke, but the ball, all you can do is score tries right, and he had 70 metres to go. It just lobbed into his arms, no one in front of him. He's looking around, how good. Good on you, champ. Yeah, Lockie Miller, former Rugby Sevens player. And an 
That's a, he would have seen that picture plenty of times in the rugby sevens, plenty of space. A player of his ability, well, he's shown already how difficult he has been to bring down to get tackled. That's his wife. They're celebrating. What a finish. I mean, everyone was surprised that they let it go. Normally, <laughs> the go is get under it, someone catch it, but they did. Bounce into his arms and away he went. 27 years of age, making it a boo. How good. Great stuff. The jubilation from his teammates. That's great to watch. Well, that's it. That'll be a headache for Craig Fitzgibbon when Will Kennedy returns. He's due back next week. There you go. Will Kennedy. Nico Hines. Makes it an 18 point lead. I thought of it, I thought of it during half sleep. Just keep being proactive out of the yardage out of 10 metres. Stay behind. Not early, guys. 24-6, Sharks in front of the tight. It's now Stay starting behind. tonight. Roland Garros is back exclusively to Wide World of Sports and Stan Sport. Don't miss all of the tennis the biggest superstars balloted it out on the clay courts of Paris Live and exclusive on Nine's Wide World of Sports and on Stan Sport. Who wins, who wins the French Open? Carlos Alcaraz. Really? He is the next big thing, I think. Is Rafa playing? Yes, Rafa's there. He's my man on the clay. Who are you going to The white be Boris Becker. <laughs> Miller again. He's brought down. Moylan. Wilton. Back two weeks coming up at Roland Garros for the French Open. Hines puts in a kick. He goes Ronaldo. But good take. And taken in nah. mid-air was Jermaine Azarko, so a penalty to the Gold Coast. You started to contest, but you went away from that. You started to contest, <laughs> and then you went away from that. He started to contest, there's going to be a collision of some description. Titans on their own 20. Tanner Boyd is out there giving a pass to Mo Fodawaka. Get him up, Toby! Straight T, Aiden, right, Aiden! Oh. Go down a short side. Move there! Wade Graham. 184 metres. Miller now 181. Great move! Wade Graham, what an afternoon he's having. Tino playing it. Fodawaka, Campbell, they need to hit back and hit back quickly here the Gold Coast. Both for more. Tackle. Tackled on the last. Oh, and he's yeah, dropped before. it to play the ball. Where do you want it? Scrum in the middle. Shot clock on. The errors are coming for the Gold Coast. Trying to get that quick play the ball on the last. One thing, I know it's good to have a quick play of the ball, but you've got to be patient. You've got to make sure everything's right. Okay, second roll is locked blind. And you've got to put, put it on the break, ground properly and roll it properly. You've just got to make sure it's a little Adrian. tiny thing, little detail playing the Old ball, 10. but it's so important. Let's go. Blake, Teague, Teague. Shot on hold. So Cronulla. Nico Hines goes to Katoa. Eight sort of halfway. Nathan Skibben will be delighted with the way that they've played the 18 minutes of this second half. If you missed the first half, it was six all at half time. 
Aiden Tolman, 10 metres in the Titans territory. Wilton almost getting through. Braden Trimble's out there now with ball in hand. I'll have to watch him. Gets a pass to Hines. He puts in a kick from the corner, but Campbell slides across, gets it, then stays in the field of play. Good work from the Titans fullback. That was good footy on both sides. We see a penalty here for the Gold Coast Titans. We go Hines. It's not quick, okay? Second marker's not straight. Not square at marker, Nico Hines. And we see a lovely little dink kick by Nico Hines in the end goal, but Jaden Campbell putting his body on the line. He's a courageous young man. Go! Still a quarter of the game remaining. They've got some points in them, the Gold Coast. They've conceded. Those points early in the second half. Here's Mo Fotawaka. Tanner Boyd to dummy half. Campbell. Tackled on the Sharks 20. Boyd to Sexton. Puts in a kick for AJ Brimson. Can he get there? Miller does well. You get a hand to it. He did. It'll be a dropout. Good work by Miller. He can score him, he can save him. He's in the right spot, drifting across the field, wondering what was going to happen. Saw the kick and put in a bit of a burst and got there. Nice. He's got a few cramps at the moment. He's just stretching out the calves in the end goal. And why not? He's playing on. covered a fair bit of the field this afternoon. But I don't mind that bit of change of play by the Titans. They're down three converted tries here. They need to change something up a bit. Jared Wallace. Now Fodder Wake Up. Tackle there by Rudolph, one of the defenders for the Sharks. Connor Tracy was there as well. Tanner Boyd going to Toby Sexton. Short border, Liu, he's put it down, and Talakai picks it up now for the Sharks. And they'll come back for the original mistake. No advantage there for the Sharks. Now, Darren Lockyer down here, you got a special guest. Yeah, I'm here with uh, Jess Alliston, who's just re-signed with the Titans. And uh, we'll just get a camera here, Salty. Here it comes. Here they are. <laughs> I was just sitting here having a conversation with Jess, and she just re-signed with the Titans. Uh, good news? Yeah, really good. I was really excited to re-get the contract and re-sign, yeah. And 22 season, uh, that's uh, the back end of this year. You looking forward to that one? Yeah, it'll be good um, to actually get back playing that type of footy. Um, we've just finished our season with Seagulls, and um, that'll be really exciting to get back and, on the big stage. And the men's origin is just around the corner, but the women's one is on the 24th of June. You must be hoping to be in that team and look forward to representing Queensland again? Yeah, hopefully. I mean, it's in Canberra, so it's going to be freezing. Um, but, no, hopefully I'll get a run there. Well, good luck with the Titans and, and with the Maroons. Awesome. Thank you so much. Back up to you, Sally. Thanks, Lockie. Yeah, women's origin. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. that. That's going to be an action-packed rep weekend. So I've ruled that his hands actually come off. So he's placed on the ground, then it's shifted. Yeah. Women's okay. state of origin from GIO Stadium in Canberra. Now there's a challenge coming here for that mistake from the Sharks. Okay, Bucky, we're coming up to tackle one. We have a captain's challenge from Cronulla. I've ruled that they've placed it on the ground and then it's fumbled on the ground. Let's have a look. Sifa Talakai places the ball on the ground. At no point does his hand come off the ball. The challenge is successful. And he needed one look. A successful challenge. And big news in the women's rugby league about the two Brisbane lasses who had defected yeah. to Newcastle. And Millie Lynch, Boyle yeah. and Tamika Upton. Now a 16 comp and soon to be an 18, I believe, in the next couple of next, years. Next season. Yeah, yeah, that's good, isn't it? They're doing well, the girls. Bit of a change in the guard for the Broncos, Soldy. Isn't it ever? I mean, Millie Boyle is an out-and-out -out star and been one of the best forwards in the NRLW and now off to Newcastle. What a great signing that is. And Tamika up as well. Both, you'd think, would feature in the women's origin coming up in Canberra in a few weeks' time. He kick over the top. Campbell's got it covered. 
Well, if there are any chance now, there's just a, a touch over 17 minutes, the Titans. It's, it's going to be the one, seven, and six. They're the ones that need to get their ball in their hands for the most part of the, the sets remaining for the Titans. They can't rely on their big men just to go one out. Camilla have handled that all day. They're going to have to start playing a bit more expansive football and ask some more questions. Tanner Boyd goes on his own. No space there for him. Now another dummy half run. Getting up towards the halfway line, but it is the last. Oh, penalty, cross and tackle. On the last the tackle. Wait, 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 wait. Because it's foul play. I'll call time off so that we're not delaying the game. Okay, Toby, you're on report. So, Toby Rudolph okay, on report for that one. On the line, guys. Toby Sexton wait. makes just 10 metres from that. For touch. Rodawaka playing it. Here's Wallace going to Kasua Malawi. 31 away from the line. Sexton. Now Brimson goes short to Liu. Jaden Campbell is wanting the ball then. Wrapping around. Wallace. 12 away from the line. Big chance here for the Gold Coast. Tanner Boyd goes to Mo Fonawaka. Here's Liu. Good hands there from Campbell. Here's the last tackle now. Tanner Boyd. Toby Sexton puts in a kick. It's knocked back by the Sharks. Katoa's got it. He's going to get back here, Sione Katoa. Well done. Oh, what a play by Sione Katoa. That's a big play for his team. He looked for all money trapped in the end goal, but he threw out the big, it was a big right foot. Beat two defenders and made his way back into the field of the play. And at 24 to six. You, know, you could have forgiven him for just placing the ball or just conceding a dropout. Let's have a look here. Bang. Well done. Last one here for the Sharks. You go Hines. All good. It's an ugly spiraling kick. Good luck. But anyway, good bounce there for Masters. And didn't pass there to Jermaine Azarko. And he had a bit of space there in front of him because Little Talo came inside there, Cam. It was an opportunity. Yeah, I thought if he just looked to his right and drew Militalo, he could have been able to put Azarko down this right hand sideline. Go into Sharks territory now, the Titans. And 14 minutes remaining. Suomala Awi. Well wrapped up. Boyd goes to Wallace. Now Sexton. It's a pass to Masters. He keeps it alive. Liu tries to wind up. And he might be putting a touch here. Great defence, the Sharks. That is terrific stuff from Talakai and Militalo. Yeah, that's what winners do. That's what a winning culture creates. And look at this. Every Cronulla player has come over. That whole team is within a metre of each other. Fantastic. It was a half-hearted run by Liu. He looks a bit tired. And they held him up, held him up, put him over. He's Talakai in the hands of the okay. trainer here. Use your foot, Cam. It's all right. It's a leg injury it's in the hands of the trainer. Now, don't forget, every Monday night on Channel 9, 100% footy Stand breaks down, down the yeah. biggest topics in rugby league. Tune in, 10.30 Monday nights on 9. And you can now listen to 100% footy on all your major podcast platforms. Come in the middle. A knock on here from Toby Rudolph. Good to see CSC for Talakai up and about, which is a plus for Sharks fans. 
camera, my son Matt, listened to the uh, the podcast, State of Origin podcast with you and Joey. Yeah, what do you think? That's outstanding. That's good. He said it's the best one so far, by far. Is he your one? No, he said it was outstanding. Like no, he said it was <laughs> said it was given. No, it was actually good. I'm uh, just getting a little bit of uh, insight, listening to some of Joey's stories. Of, you know, particularly, well, he started in that period. He played in the, your famous yeah, he did. team that you yeah. coached. Okay. He was only a young man starting out, so and the crossover from sort of that that style of footy to when he finished. Jared Wallace gets an offload. Tanner Boyd. Can he get there? He's going to be stopped half a meter away from the line. Now Jaden Campbell stepping, sinking, looking for space. Here goes Jaden. They're going to drag him down. Five away from the line. A couple of tackles left in the set. Masters the dummy half. Goes to Boyd. Drifting his Boyd. Dummying. Now goes to Tino. And Swamala Awi will be tackled. Last play here for the Titans. Jaden Campbell puts in a kick. It's played and picked up and away they go. Up over the halfway line Look goes Teague Wilton. Look at the chase. <laughs> Here comes the chase. 14 of them. Oh, oh he's come easy. up and lost that. He's lost the ball, Teague Wilton. Easy. That's a knock on. Good boy. We got the scrum. Go in middle. I mean, it looks like a Cronulla win with 10 to go, 24-6. But if, if Holbrook can take one thing out of this, when Wilton gets away, there's actually about eight or nine Titans players chasing, which is a good sign that their spirit's still there. Second row is a lost bind. Not early back. Uh, Titans go, scrum feed. There is Justin Stay Holbrook. You see him through the rain. Break. Well, those stories of origin podcasts are magnificent. You get them wherever you get your podcasts. Can move? And don't downplay yours either, Paul. Very good. Very good. I don't even know how to find them. No, it's easy. I can't find them. <laughs> Honestly, I've got no idea. No, even you could find them. No, I can't. <laughs> Apple and Spotify. Here you go, Sexton. Tanner Boyd goes to Mo Fodawaka. Sharks defence has been relentless. Here's the last. Sexton puts in a kick for Jared Wallace. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Jared Wallace. A double. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> can we, oh, can is we Mido working today? Will he let us know if that's his first ever double? Jared Wallace. I just want to see the hands from the big man here. It may have taken a deflection. Isuzu D Max replay, a deflection from a Cronulla player. Oh, look at those hands, but front rower. But it's a great what? effort, isn't it? 70, what, two minutes, 75 minutes into the match. And there he goes. Well, it's given him some hope. Slim, but still some hope. Darren Lockyer. He loves a try, Jared Wallace, and he celebrates that one with the two fingers up. It had the hands with shades of, uh, oh, we're going way back here. You might be able to help me out, Fatty. Origin. Was it Was it GD? A, a chip kick off the post? Did you see Asako? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it, yeah. SCG. Conversion successful. SCG, yeah. <laughs> going on and off most times anyway so Jared Wallace I can answer a question for you from David Middleton and behind yes it, yes it's his second second double second double good on him oh, he's passing looking to switch it here out wide they go 
Well, the Titans, they've still got time. Well, they haven't eight had eight minutes yeah, left. There's, there's actually eight minutes left, yeah. More of that, more of that from the Gulf Coast Titans. Two tries, eight minutes, plenty of time. Liu. Wallace's other double came round 19 last year against the Dragons. Now Sexton goes to Masters. Isan Masters, tackle there by McInnes. Azarko, Sexton, Boy. Tino for Suomala Awi, they were screaming for it out wide. Last play, AJ Brimson. Puts in a kick, Philip Sami flying high. Has it been knocked on there by the Sharks? No. Well done in the end by Katoa, saving the day again. Philip Sami down in back play, grimacing. He's in a fair bit of pain. He doesn't look good. Well, it's all Titans at the moment. They're the ones who look re energized after that try, giving them a sniff. Nico Hines, he goes Connor Tracy, gets a pass out wide, and the Titans defense is there. Now Katoa's got it. And Tanner Boyd gets in. Last play. Hines, no pressure on him, runs 10 meters, then puts a kick over the top, looking to put it into touch. Campbell has got it. Yeah, they're, they're just trying to get Philip Sami off the back of the end goal because they're down to play. They were down to play that whole set, and that's where. Cronulla and Nico Hines especially recognise they exclusively stayed on that right edge. Trying to find out how Sami is. He's off the field to play now. Jaden Campbell playing it. Jared Wallace. Nice offload. The Sharks defence though there. Moylan and Royce Hunt making a tackle. Little kick over the top. Here goes Tino, but a good take. The Sharks defusing that tight is attacking raid. Miller. What a sensational debut. And it's Lachlan Miller. Teague Wilton. Just over five minutes left. Nico Hines, Connor Tracy, can he find Katoa? No, he won't be able to because there's a good tackle down low on him. Katoa. Getting away from McIntyre. Looks the straighten and go again. He's eventually wrapped up. Last play here for the Sharks. Hines. Puts in a kick. Batted back. Still batted back, and the Titans have got it through AJ Brimson. An important tackle down low there by Katoa. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Don't run in. Don't run in, Royce. Jared. Was there a kick in Jared, there then? Watch yourself. That's a send off. AJ Brimson. That's a off. Yeah, that's a send off. Not happy. Let's deal with that guy over there. Someone's yelling out, that's a send off. Yeah, Ian Royce. Hey, hey, away, boys. What happened on the ground there? So I've got a penalty against the Oni for a second effort. What happens next? Well, it looked like Brimson half kite kicked him. It looked like he didn't mean the so kick, so but his boot right. shot I've out already blown the penalty, connected. Right. But you have to watch yourself Just watch, watch his right foot. Go into the bin for right, no, no. And I'm not like a my kick and a shot. I mean, it's nothing. You need to let me do it. But he reacted, Katoa. Um, let me just make sure the player's all right. I'm not sure what the right? send off. Right to Someone's yelling out, send him off. But I'm not sure what for. Just watch his. Yeah. Just wait, wait, wait. wait. Anyway. Just got to clear that leg. It's, it's nothing. It's just play on. Okay. Well, he's got the original okay. penalty to the yeah, Gold thanks, Coast. Go. And there, there we yeah, go. Thanks, it is play on. That's good. Good work by uh, Ash. Fine. Well, this is where Toby Sexton, AJ Brimson. They need to handle the ball every play the remainder of this game. 
saw Philip Sami going up the tunnel. Here's a chance for the Gold Coast. Masters! Didn't go to Azarko. Goes on his own. He's going to be wrapped up. It's now or never for the Titans. Under five minutes remaining. Liu. Isaac Liu. Boy. Wallace. The Suomala Ali. Will be wrapped up. Ten metres away from the line. Stand there. Two tackles left in the set. Tanner Boy, Jared Wallace. Set restart until it's touched by a shark. So this is zero tackle. Jaden Campbell. Isan Masters, they must score and they do score. Here we go. Game on. A great hit back by the Titans. They've had the majority of the football this last little period of play. My Susu D Max replay. Well, that's class. And that's why those players, 7, 6, and 1, they need to get the football in their hands when you need some good decisions made. Just watch how he held the ball up. Campbell. Give it to that man, Isan Masters, who, well, he just dumped his way to the line. It's a nice comeback, and uh, this kick now, very, very important by Azarko. He's kicked many of these in his day. Five metres in from touch. We'll get him within a converted try. He's getting some free advice from Andrew Fafita from the Sark's bench as well as he's lining up this kick. Jermaine Azarko. Big kick. Eight points to margin. This to make it just a converted try. Strikes it pretty well. It's there. Isan Masters with the try, and yeah. now there's a converted try in it. Three minutes left. Stay behind, guys. How do they approach this set, Ken? Well, if there's no if there's no Stay reset behind. set restarts, they're going to get two cracks at it, the Titans. And I mentioned earlier, it's just got to be. Oh no, well, that's what that's, they didn't need. It's got to be defend your try line now. Connor Tracy's got it now for the Sharks. They've got to defend here the Gold Coast. The Sharks can't put the game to bed. Wait! Nakora. Eight away from the line. Big back line set to the left. Nico Hines. Here's Toby Rudolph. Riley. Tolman. He's tackled a metre away from the line. Halfway through the set, Brayley goes to, it's a pass away, then on, knocking on the door here, the Sharks. Nico's set up for the field goal if they want it. He's right behind the rug. Brayley goes to him, he can put the game to bed, but Tanner Boyd put pressure on him. Still alive here, Nico Hines goes to Miller, Wilton. He's lost that. Yeah, he knocked it into the chest there of Jermaine Azarko. Even though he regathered, the Titans will get the scrum feed. By the way, that knock on. Yeah, he's not going to be involved. So scrum feed here for the Titans. Well, I thought Nico, you know, couldn't get the field goal off. I thought he might have just banged it into the end goal, try and get the repeat. But decided to run it so this is it for the Gold Coast one and a half minutes left this will be their last set just inside their own 20 a minute 22 remaining for the Gold Coast 
Tino for Suomela Awi, passing before the line, and they put it down. The Sharks have got it. Toby Rudolph has it now for the Sharks. A minute remaining. Aiden Tolman now. They have the game in safekeeping, leading 24-6. And they're given a fright by the Gold Coast. Braley has hit a Rudolph for the line. He'll get over, will he? He's held up. OK, tackle three, time's off. You'll play the ball, Toby, out ten. Mark straight, guys. Use your foot, Toby. 36 seconds left. It's giving them time just to set up. Have a, have a look at which side they want to attack. Looks like they may be coming out to their right. Hines is Miller. Tackled five away from the line. 25 seconds left. Nico Hines for the field goal. And he has nailed it. The Sharks will get the two points. Yeah, too good. Deserved win. They played pretty well for most of the game. The Cronulla Sharks control the play well. Hines has been outstanding, and that's just a little bit of uh, cream on top. Love a bit of cream. Titans, you know what? They were done and dusted at 24-6, but they showed they've got plenty of spirit in this club, and they fought back to give themselves a hope. Right, time's off. Yeah, they have, and this is the Are tackle, Fatty. The yeah, they put the Titans, it really killed the game for the Titans. What Braley, he's had a monster of a game, and he just put himself in front of Jared Wallace, the big man. Short kick off, the Titans have got it. And they got it through Campbell. Good run from him. This will be the last play of the game if they get there. And then they get a penalty and well, 10 in the bin. Wait. That's the siren bit. sounds. Wait. Hey, the, the time's off anyway, right? It's zero minutes. So you're going to get one play. So Is here's he the last the play of the game. You're in the bin, so you need to go to the sideline. Have He's to in wait the bin, so he needs to go to the halfway. Nico Hines to go to the sin bin. On the line. Let me get out of the way. Comes from the Come field. On. Last play of the game. Boyd to Sexton. No fight wake up to AJ Brimson. They're looking for a consolation try, but Sione Katoa's got other ideas. And he'll be wrapped up. Full time. Entertaining afternoon of football here at Seabus Super Stadium on the Gold Coast. And the Sharks back in the winner's circle. Cronulla, too good by seven points in the end. Full time. The Sharks, 25, have defeated the Titans, 18.